اعظم الله اجورنا واجوركم بمصابنا بالحسين عليه الصلاه والسلام so it's the 10th of muharram and as usual it's a very eerie day like this like the sun bleeding through the clouds this kind of nonsense this is like a normal thing like the iphone shows it up actually damn sun bleeding through the clouds like this is incredible like seriously like i can't see this what you're seeing there user like to me it's like something called karamat which means like extraordinary thing right so this is the the culmination of today's videos if they are uploaded indeed the 10th of muharram so called ashura Ashura means 10, right? Ashura is the 10th day of the first Islamic month. First Islamic month is called Muharram. Muharram Haram means like sanctified, right? Haram also means forbidden, right? So Muharram is the sanctified month. There's four months that are sanctified this way. And so like you're not meant to fight in them, for example. Like if, if someone fights you, that's one thing, I suppose. So now you see the black clothes Mu'minin, the believers, coming from everywhere, like, just to pay their respects. Like, on the 10th of Muharram, the Shia, like, I had to work, of course, because I have clients and they don't give a hoot about my schedule. But 10th of Muharram, like, you can read the sign here, dear viewer. And, uh, basically, it's, it's self-explanatory, right? So, the, er, earlier we had a Jalus, so-called procession. So, King of Martyrs, right? It's very nice marketing, right? In a sense. King of Martyrs is Imam Hussein. So my name is Hussein. Hassan means good. Imam Hassan was also a grandson of Prophet Muhammad. Hassan and Hussein. Hussein means the one who does good or favors, right? Now, I don't like seeing the sign on the floor like this, right? And it's funny that like, there's someone's slippers right next to it. Like the guy, the guy who was meant to be taking care of the sign, his goddamn slippers are right here. Right, so like when I see a sign and it's the wind, cause I'm, I'm a marketing guy, I tell my clients to use this stuff. Like I'm talking to this guy. I got a video, you might have seen it, Techno Man at Markham and Steels, right? So this iPhone is Techno Man, 100 bucks, like whatever, like 150 all in. iPhone 6, so some apps don't work. It doesn't have like the latest iteration of like iOS, right? Uh, so these marketing signs, just so you know, if you have like a relative that actually has a business, these goddamn things work. It depends what you put on them. And if they, yo, if it falls on the floor and it's like looking like crap, then that's your brand. If you put up a sign, like little tip, you got to check on the goddamn thing every month, right? Month, month. Like, so my wife takes care of our finances. That's month to month. Otherwise, it's day to day, right? Carpe diem, saves the day. So... We're entering 328 Passmore, okay? Hopefully no one's gonna fight me. I'm wearing like the regular gear. I showed up at the procession earlier today and I was literally like, I don't know what the hell happened. It's on camera, like I'm gonna just look at this thing, but I got punched at one point. They didn't realize like I'm one of them, right? So like hopefully right now no one's gonna fight me. Uh, I always get into trouble with the camera. Like, and I've seen it all and done it all, right? I'll be doing this on like the YouTube rather the train right and it's like you must have seen some of these videos you can go to my original Zaidi boy channel guys z-a-i-d-i-b-o-y just google that z-a-i-d-i Zaidi packy name right Zaidi boy okay so now very nice graphic here okay now people ask a Jewish person asked this thing on email I was chatting with this guy He's like, why are you teaching kids about killing people and blood and swords and this thing? This is a valid question. So these are questions that we're trying to answer, right? This kind of thing. And um, the truth is that like this phrase that, that they came up with, King of Martyrs, says it all, right? Martyr is generally a good thing. So John Lennon, I suppose some people see him as a martyr, right? And then this lady, Joan of Arc. Like, so martyr, like king of the martyrs, it was Imam Hussein. So that's why we teach the kids about blood and all this stuff. Because ultimately, what you want to teach them is what Mel Gibson taught about in Braveheart. Everybody dies, but not everybody really lived, right? So you need to believe in something beyond your own life. And of course, like, 
Guys, we live in a universe of babies dying of cancer and people getting crushed. Like, this blood is nothing, quite frankly, like on this sheet, as compared to what's going on in the world today. So, I suppose one way of looking at this thing is you have to teach your kids that there are horrible things going on in the world, like rape, torture, genocide, all this crap. Like, this is Canada, and God bless, like, Justin Trudeau. Like, I'm a fan of this guy. The Liberal Party of Canada follows me on Twitter, guys. My handle is Samuelus Remus. I'll stick it in the link here. But uh, I don't, like, I'm not a liberal. I don't like the conservatives, more or less. But uh, anyway, I'm going to, like, McLean's Magazine follows me as well. So if you've got any questions about anything that I've talked about here, I'm not interested in a subscription or anything. I want a response, right? So even if you dislike some of this stuff, because if you ask me, like, why is there blood on this thing and there's kids here and all this stuff, well, then then I'd like to talk to you about that. All right. Jazakum Allah khair. Take care.